Hi, and the Maestro's back for another video. And today I want to talk about um, <clears throat> some of the things that bothered me the most in 2021. And the first one is uh, the IRS, okay? These sketchy little scoundrels are infiltrating the Maestro's Bank EC. I need my money! I had to pay $12,000 in tax as yet, uh, last year. Or I paid 11500 and the IRS comes and charges me another six hundred. Hello, I paid eleven thousand five hundred. I barely make any money. Um, but anyway, that's not what I'm complaining about. Except that it is. Oh my god, that's so sickening. Um, I think there should be like a flat a flat tax on everybody. I don't think you should have to pay more if you make more money. I think you should. There should be like a. And why are taxes like thirty percent of your income? Or f it's insane. Like, I'm, I'm, you work so hard. <laughs> I wake up and play video game. I work so hard. Um, <laughs> I do work hard. Um, I'm not sure the hardest working person. But like, you work so hard for all your money, and especially if you're in the upper income bracket, then like forty percent of your money gets taken away. Um, it's absolutely insane. Um. Like, and then they waste your money, like, on some weird reading program in Zimbabwe. Keep the money here for Americans. Use the money to help Americans. And I actually read up when I was looking at my taxes. I read up on the IRS website, and you're not even going to believe this. There's a part where it says, illegal activities. And <laughs> this is what it says. Income from illegal activities, such as money from dealing illegal drugs, must be included in your income on Schedule 1, Form 1040 from your self-employment activity. What? What? So basically they're saying... Oh, it's completely fine to do deal illegal drugs. Just make sure to report it to the government. N no! What it should say is, if you do illegal drugs, you're going to prison! Like, what, dude, so the IRS is basically being complicit in committing crimes. As long as you report it, it's completely fine. What? And then, and then, it says under stolen property... If you steal property, you must report its fair market value in your income in the year you steal it unless you return it to its rightful owner in the same year. What robber is going in and stealing something and then reporting it on the tax returns? Oh my god, our government is so delusional. Stop giving our government agencies more power over our life. Make your own decisions in life. Stop giving the government more power over our life. They are not here to help us. So, this is the most delusional thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm almost going blind from even thinking about it. So, basically... <laughs> What robber returns the thing in the same year? No one! Um, so this is just absolutely insane. It, it's, not, they, it's not like, oh, they put, oh, if you steal something, we're going to report you to the police. No. Oh, just report it on your tax returns. Un the most delusional thing. Um, and, like, I swear the government could do so much with the money we give them. We give them so much and they still rack up a deficit and a debt, a debt in our country. Uh, even though we pay them so much. They could do with 100% less payment from us and do even more. If they actually allocated the resources that we give them, all the money, to actual good causes. It's unreal. Um, so anyway, the second thing that really bothered me is uh, the chaos in Afghanistan. Uh, because we uh, left Americans behind. We left Afghans behind that helped us. Um, Americans don't leave anyone behind. 
Just like King Varian Rin sacrificed his own life by jumping through the breach of darkness to smite down the evil Krokron and Gul'dan himself, fighting down the enemies on the broken shore like an absolute hero against the ties of absolute death. Dude, our government is so cowardly, so disgusting. The new administration, the Biden administration, this is the most disgusting administration. Doesn't care about Americans at all. Um, and now we look so bad over, all over the world. Like, we have less standing. We look weak. We look like we don't hold our, what, what, our oaths uh, that, we, that we took to, to never leave an American behind and, and to protect people and, and everything that we stood for. And now all over the world on the world stage, we look absolutely horrible. Um, just like in Vietnam when we left, but this is even worse. Um, cause this could have been so easily avoided. It was so obvious what to do. Biden was told a million times, if you leave now, then this is going to happen. Just leave it in a timely fashion. Like they were going to do under Trump. They made a deal under Trump, leave in a timely fashion, take out all your stuff. They left $84 billion of equipment, stuff that taxpayer money pays for 84 billion dollars that could have been to something else like in the maestro's bank account i could have used it would have had a lot of cars strip yes that's a way better use so that's another thing absolutely disgusting and that was for no reason at all there was no reason that had to happen um and he was told by all his generals and everybody that this was going to happen if you did this. And then we lost 13 American servicemen for no reason at all. Um, absolutely disgusting. Um, the third thing is the border crisis. I don't think any if anybody actually knows how bad the border crisis is. People are pouring across our border unchecked. Um, uh, and these people aren't checked for coronavirus, um, and then they're dispersing them across all America, unchecked. And uh, our government does absolutely nothing about it. These people, we don't know who they are. We don't give them background checks or anything. And yet, yet even though they're letting people come across our border and dispersing them into our cities and our communities, uh, they don't... Uh, they, they lock us down and tell us we can't do this. We have to wear the mask. We have to be mandated to do these things at these times. <sighs> when they're just letting these people come across, being completely free to do whatever they want, but yet they're mandating American citizens to do all these insane things that aren't backed by science. Um, draconian mandates. Um, and uh, they're... These people are, like, just dispersed into our communities where we feel it, and the people who make these policies don't feel any of the effects of what they're doing. They live in their gated communities and, and everything, and, and, and they don't care what happens to the actual American citizen. Um, and even in, like, really nice places... Like there, just there's so many homeless people, and and they then they try to censor us, and 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 it's just disgusting for no reason. Like, like I want to be able to walk outside and breathe the fresh air, like without wearing a disgusting, dirty mask, which I never do. Um, the uh, fourth thing would be stash and grab robberies. I saw this happening so much. Um, where these robbers are brazenly just walking into stores and take it's stealing something in broad daylight like this has never happened before never um in broad daylight these peasants these disgusting squeamish little feeble-minded dung beetle ridden peasants dandruff covered swines are just walking into stores nice stores the nicest stores and they're just being allowed to do it because the prosecutors you keep hiring these insanely liberal prosecutors who don't want to process crimes. 
So, mm. if you don't come home, down hard on crime, then there's going to be more crime. And the craziest thing is, this DA is actually put, made it so crime, uh, they for, for robberies, it's only a misdemeanor instead of a felony. So, what do you think you're going to get if you make it a misdemeanor instead of a felony? And then no cash bail. They're just letting the criminals right back out on the street with no bail. So, this is the most delusional thing. Um, and stop trying to defund the police. If you ask the average person, everybody wants the police because then they keep things safer. Um, and uh, it's just unreal because these people are just like such scum of the earth. Like, <laughs> they deserve to be in jail for the rest of their worthless lives, you know? Like, all these people who are doing these smash and grab robberies, they deserve to be in jail for the rest of their worthless lives. They take advantage of the system. Um, and uh, it's just disgusting to see our country. Our country is almost turning into being like unrecognizable. Like, people are, and, and no one wants that. No one wants people to be smashing into stores in the middle of the day with women and children there just just like scared for their lives like like what if i had someone i cared about and they were in the store with these scum of the earth like nah, i have no one i care about but uh unreal so um in the, the 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 liberal prosecutors they won't prosecute the crimes so the people are just getting away with it like damn maybe i should go commit some crime just kidding um the, my, I swear, if I stole, like, a soda, I would probably go to jail for, like, 10 years. But these people are smashing and grabbing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, and they don't get prosecuted for it. The maestro would steal, like, a pack of gum and get caught. Um, and uh, the fifth thing is inflation. Um, if you look at inflation, um, just look at the gas prices. The gas prices, I drove down to Texas. When I left shit York, I drove all the way down to Texas... Uh, on less than $60, <laughs> I overflowed my gas tank on $20. Now I can't even fill up my gas tank for $55. Gas has went from like, it was like 99, I got, in Georgia, gas was like 99 cents. It was insane. Um, when Trump was president, everything bad that has happened is because Biden became president. Do not let the government have control over your lives. They are hypocrites. They will say one thing and lie to you the next. They will do do the complete opposite of what they say in every single scenario. Um, and they'll literally do it in like the same sentence too. Like it's it's unreal to watch. Um, so obviously everything costs way more. I remember at the beginning when I got to Texas when Trump was elected was still president. Um, things costed, bread was like $1. Now bread is like two fifty. It's insane. Things have double, tripled in price. Um, and, uh, the sixth is, um, insane restrictions on everything, uh, based on absolutely nothing besides the government wants you to be scared. And if you're scared, then you give them more power. There's nothing to be afraid of in this virus. Uh, you can take the vaccine for it and then you have a 99.9% chance to live if not more if you're young then you even have a more of a chance to li live and not be hospitalized so there's nothing to be scared of go out and breathe the fresh air go make out with grannies do whatever you want because there's no, almost a zero risk okay it's unbelievable like and they want you to muzzle yourself and wear this dirty, disgusting cloth over you that probably has way worse health risks from wearing this. And the science says that masks barely help you at all, like a 5%. And that's that's if you even wear them properly. So there's literally no reason to wear it. People are scared for no reason, giving the government more power, and they're mandating more and more stuff. And when you give more power to the government, they're going to take they're going to take as much power as possible, and they'll never give it back. So stop giving power to the government. Stop voting these scum into power who are complete hypocrites. And, uh, like, Elizabeth Warren was complaining about Elon Musk not paying enough taxes. 
The guy paid $11 billion in taxes. How delusional are you, Nimrod Elizabeth Warren? Oh, my God. Pocahontas? Disgusting. Um, so, it's just unreal. Like, while this, while this woman is a millionaire, off our money, off our taxpayer money, she's a millionaire. And she's complaining about someone who pays $11 billion in back. Shut up, Elizabeth Warren. And then the homelessness. If you go to any major city, especially any of one, the ones in the liberal places, like New York, I'm so glad I got out of New York. Oh my God, that place was a, a complete dung infested cow haystack and barrel and barn trash heap. Um, sewer water. Oh my God. Uh, there's homeless people. If you go to like Santa Monica, if you go to San Diego, LA. These places are covered in homeless people. There's needles on the streets just, like, laying there. Even in Beverly Hills, there's, there's just homeless people walking around. There's this one story where uh, right in Beverly Hills, this homeless guy just walked up and killed this one one woman. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of those stories. Um, and that's in Beverly Hills. Um, these homeless people need to be cleaned off, off the street. They can't be allowed to live there. Um... But it's all all part of the the liberal plan to destroy America. Let the homeless people run a run amok, destroying, uh, going to the bathroom right on the street, disgusting, um, and doing drugs right in front of people's houses. It's it's unreal. And um, like if we don't change, if we don't make a stand against these evil doer scum, the government, then our country is not going to be the same country. Um, and the, the U.S. is the greatest country in the history of time. The U.S. is the best country of the history of time. We have done the greatest things, and, um, people have sacrificed so much for our country, and people don't understand that because they've sacrificed absolutely nothing in their pampered, disgusting lives that, that they've done absolutely nothing with, so... Uh, the Mice was a true patriot and hero, and I, I want to make sure America uh, is still the greatest country and will stand the greatest country. We just need better leaders. The problem is our awful leaders and our government having too much power. You give power to the government, it's never a good thing. They run these agencies into the ground. They use them against the American citizen and then let illegal immigrants help illegal immigrants. So, may, stop voting for Democrats. <laughs> Don't vote for the same people who ruin your lives. And anyway, I really needed to learn how to vote. And guess what? The maestro will never give.